Good morning everyone, this is Ben and welcome to Garden on a Hill. Hello and welcome to another episode of Garden on a Hill. Today we will be talking about the leaf spot disease for red tip petonias and how to manage or try to cure it. Uh, I'm here in zone 7b and this is Georgia, the Atlanta, Georgia area and we are very prone to the leaf spot disease because we have a lot of rain in this area. I'm going to show you uh, how I did manage this for an existing plant um, that we took over uh, when we bought the house three years ago and this treatment um, is probably almost a year now and I will show you the current progress and what I've learned. I am not a horticulturist or arborist but I just um, looked at Google and tips from YouTube to see how to manage this and see if I can do it by myself. So if you have some time today, let's look at what has been the progress. So when your red tips are getting thinner and their leaves are falling out and you see these spots, that is the leaf spot disease. This is a fungi that comes from the ground and travels up to the leaves and it will slowly over time kill your plant if left untreated. This is very common in the southeast and at this point there is not really a cure to stop it, there is just ways to manage it. And here you see is where we started back in June 2019 where the scraggly and thinned out red tips are pointed in the black arrows. As you can see there is no more foliage at the bottom of the tree. I'll call it a tree at this point because it's about 30 foot high and every single leaf that's coming out of it is basically dreaded with the leaf spot disease. Many years ago, this was a privacy screen, but has now overgrown into a tree. I was left with two choices, either to eliminate the red tips and plant anew, which was a hard option, or the second one was to rejuvenate the plant. As this photo tells you, we ended up trying to rejuvenate the plant. So the first step was to cut down the tree from 30 foot red tips down to three foot tall bushes. After it was cut down, all the debris, including the leaves that sat on the bottom of the red tips, were all hauled off the property or burned on site. This is to avoid the fungus from getting back into what's left over of the plant. It's going to be a three foot high cutting from the ground and that's how we started to treat it. Due to the drastic cut to get rid of the virus, I mean the leaf spot, this is what we are left of, about three foot high. And this is another area where it's still trying to come back. So in this whole area, there was more of the leaf spot disease. Probably seven months, this is how it would look like. You will think that the plant is dead, but it's trying to rejuvenate itself. Unless it turns to black, the plant has probably perished. This is the 10th month's result, as you're seeing. The new leaves coming out do not have the spots. Some of them do, but very few and very minor, so you just have to spray it. If you actually stick to the strict schedule of four to five days, you may be able to get rid of this into two to three months but of course life gets in the way now this was the original cut here as you can see it has grown about a foot and there are no more leaf spots or very few leaf spots on these new leaves you cannot get rid of leaf spots on the older leaves only in the new shoots so that's when you'll know that you've managed the leaf spots when the new leaves don't have it as you can see there may be a trunk that will be lost here and I will most likely cut this down after everything is six foot high. The first eight months I used Dacanil to treat the fungus. At first I started to follow the one tablespoon per gallon, but later on decided to change it to two tablespoons per gallon to make it a more aggressive treatment. On the ninth month, I started to use Immunox as an alternate fungicide. This will try to make the treatment far more aggressive as an alternate to Daconil. So what I do is between four to five days, I actually apply these as alternates. 
At first, I was using it every 10 days as an alternate, but when I did move to four to five days, the treatment got better and there was actually no leaf spot coming out of the new leaves. So instead of taking 10 months, the most effective way is actually have two fungicides use alternately every 10 days, two tablespoons per gallon will knock the fungi out. That's probably the best learning I had from this. And if you do that, you will most likely succeed in a shorter period of time. Use a pump spray to treat the front and back of the leaves thoroughly. But if you're going to do this in the long run, I suggest you invest on an electric pump spray and that will make your life easier. That is all my tip and thank you for watching this video.